Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create UI table view. As you know that UI table view has different types. In this tutorial I will keep it simple. This tutorial is about grouped UI table view which is doesn't need for refreshing data. All right, I already knew a uh, new project and select single view application. So click next, I'll name it UI table view dash grouped. So you know the type of this UI table view. Uh, language will be Swift, of course, device is iPhone. Click next and hit to create. This type of this uh, of UI table view is for a uh, table like setting or options. Uh, view controller inside the app which uh, contains the UI kit framework all right so let's start with the storyboard and select the view controller and delete it search for the table of view controller and drag it to the storyboard then select the, uh, this table of view controller and go to attributes inspector there there is option you have to take to uh, to start the application with this view controller all right then select the uh, inside the view controller to select the table of view and go to attributes inspector in the table of view there is content type which is will be static cells will add you automatically three cells then you have sections you can add two sections, three sections, anything you want. I will keep it two. Then you have plain or grouped style for the table. I will, uh, I will choose grouped, so it will be similar to uh, setting app. Then we have option that hide the vertical and uh, horizontal indicator. So when you scroll down or scroll up, uh, it will disappear, and that's it. All right. Then you have options like when you select the uh, when you select the section for any uh, inside the table, you have different uh, things, such as you have to specify the number of cells. You can uh, increase them or decrease them. I'll keep it three or four. All right, three. Okay, three. All right. You have header title will be um, log n. You can see this title has been changed. You can specify the footer will be uh, prof. File, uh, no, no, set up your account. All right, the rest title has, has been added here. You can um, increase the height. I'll keep it simple like 44. The recommended by Apple. Then select the uh, section 2, keep it to 3, the title will be options, okay, the footer will be set up your uh, app, alright, this is how you can add sections and cells and uh, set the title for the header and footer all right let's add now elements such as text field to handle the name and the username and the password these are will be uh, outlets all right now about actions in the options 
section we just want to add switch for example you can add anything you want the stipper to keep it simple then uh, what is it uh, segment all right this is done but the text field has no text that uh, mm, that notify the user to insert only the name you have placeholder in the attributes inspector you have a placeholder text that you can set name password username it's just for example the placeholder text is uh, highlighted uh, it's not selected uh, once you click on inside the text field will be it disappeared it's not like text so you can't copy it or anything else all right now let's go to assistant editor or before that how you go to view controller and change the subclass of UI view controller to UI table view view controller all right then go to storyboard select the table view go to what is called identity inspector and set the class name is view controller because this type of view controller is UI table so uh, to select this you have to subclass to UI table view controller go back to storyboard once you uh, set up the class uh, everything is set up all right now you go to assistant editor give you some space here now let's create IB outlet for the text field if you didn't do this uh, if you do if you do not uh, subclass the view controller or set up the class for this view controller you cannot add any IB outlets and connect them to the view controller you cannot do that all right this is the name text field strong all right the connection will be strong of course the next one select and control the drag will be password username selected control the drag uh, username connect now this is outlets to uh, set up uh, or copy the text from them to place inside the functions or the label or anything you want the options we have this one and this one and this one this it should be actions as I taught I teach you uh, in the previous uh, tutorial uh, control select control and the drag connection will be action the name will be button uh, type will be UI switch event will be touch up inside uh, arguments will be sender connect this is the first one stepper select control and the drag connection will be action name will be stepper uh, type will be UI stepper value changed sender connect the final uh, select control control and drag The connection will be action and the name will be a segment the type will be UI segment control value changed uh, sender connect now we are done uh, I'm just uh, implement these uh, actions with simple uh, print line if sender 
this one uh, this uh, uh, sender if this sender of type UI switch dot uh, is on set on do something else do something here step part we have um, print line inside the print line we just call the sender of type UI stepper dot uh, value dot description so the value will be transformed to description to print it uh, in the uh, output then UI segment switch uh, sender dot selected index uh, segment index case zero break case one break default so break now uh, let's do the print line if it's on if the button is on print line button is on let's give let's copy it and paste it here is off all right uh, then the case zero will be segment uh, equals uh, one or keep it zero then copy it so case one will be segment equals one now everything is set up let's run this to see what we got hmm. this is the output if we click and insert text that uh, the placeholder has been disappeared you cannot copy it as you can see I'm click I'm clicking but if you do this you can copy if you delete it paste it and delete all right this is the placeholder if the if this button is off print line is off if it's on it's on stepper equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is increase in increasing then in decreasing to 0, 0. if segment equals to 1 segment equals to 1 equals to 0 now it's everything is working now this is how you can do it for uh, table of view grouped table of view adding ac uh, sig uh, sorry about that uh, how you can add sections and cells uh, header and footer with the uh, implementing the element of UI kit framework uh, without any functions of UI table of view it's real simple and easy this is the easy part of UI table of view but the harder part is about uh, refreshing data and retrieve data from uh, parse uh, framework to the uh, UI table is the hardest part but it's real easy I'll keep it simple as always thank you guys for watching if you have any question you can ask me anything you want see you to the next tutorial